The thicker brochures are rooted beam, fight the reactions, and hence draw the shear force and bedding moment. The beam is rooted with a point rod of 10 kN, 17 kN, and 14 kN. So we are required to fight the reactions, fight the shear force, and then the bedding moment so that we can be able to draw the shear force and bedding moment diagram. So we start with the reactions. I'll sum my moment at A and moment at point A and point B is already zero. So I'm summing moment at point A. So I have my rolling 14 kilonewton. Then I multiply with the total distance, which is uh, I have a total distance of 9.5. Reaction at B will be 14 times, this is 5, 7.5. Then I have my 17 times 5. And then I add 10 times 2. So 9.5 RB will be 14 times 7.5. That will give me 105 plus 17 times 5. That will give me 85. Then I'll have 20. So 9.5 RB will give me total of this is 210. So I divide by 9.5 both sides. So reaction at B will be 22.12 kN. Then I look for reaction at, the, at A. So summation of moment at B will be 0. 9.5 RA. Now I'm summing my moment at B. So it will be 10 times total distance here, which is 3 plus, that is 5.5, uh, 7.5. So it's 10 multiplied by 7.5. Then I'll add 17 times 4.5 plus 14 times 2. So 9.5. 0.5 RA will give me 10 times 7.5 will give me 75 plus 17 times 4.5 will give me 76.5 then 14 times 2 will give me 28 so RA will be 18.89 kN the reaction at A so array we have 18.89 the reaction at RA then reaction at B will be 22.12 so we can look for shear force Shear force we have Q at A. Shear force at A will be 18.89. Then we have shear force at C, which will be 18.89. We minus the rolling at that point, which is 10, and it is 8.89 kN. Then I have Q at D, which will be now 8.89 we minus loading that is 17. And this one will give us negative 
0.11 kN. Then I have Q at E. It will be now negative 8.11 minus 14. And this one will give me negative 22.11. So Q at B will be negative 22.11. I add the reaction at that point, which is 22.11, and it will give me 0. Give me 0 kN. 0 kN. So with that one, we can be able to look for bedding moment bedding moment basically at uh, this is if we call this one b left eh? b left b right in fact but for b left if you're looking for q at b left right it will also be the same as negative 22 se 0.11 so for a bedding moment we be able to get it now that uh, we have the shear force but first of all we draw the shear force diagram So shear force at A is 18.89, at C we have 8.89, then at D we have negative 8.11, then at E, at e we have negative 22. Point one one. And at B we have again negative 22.11. So we only need to join the points. we have negative 8 point one one and that is the shapeless diagram. This is negative, this is positive. So we can now calculate the bending moment. So moment at edge support is zero. Now because it is a point road, it's a simply supported beam. So summation of moment at A and moment at B is zero. So we go to moment at C. At this point we should be eight the reaction at A times the distance. This one will give us about seven point seven eight kilonewton meter. Then we look for moment at D. This is uh, reaction at A times total distance. Total distance at D is 3 plus 2, 5. 
and then I subtract 10 times 3 and this one will give me 64.45 kilonewton meter we look for moment at E you can take reaction at B and multiply by distance of 2 meter which is 22.11 multiply by 2 this one will give us 44.24 kilonewton meter but, uh, now we have moment at point C at point D and point E and with the three moment point we can be able to draw our bedding moment diagram moment at a equals moment at b equals zero moment at c is that 7.78 So I assume it's that point. Then I have moment at D is 64. My figure is not to scale. So I'm just assuming that 64.45 is at this point. And then I have 44. So I go back 44 in between that 7 and 64. So I'll have it here. 44.24. And then I'll go back to 0. So I can trace the three points using a ruler. So this is positive and uh, with that one we have been able to handle our question we have our shear force diagram we have our bending moment diagram and also we have our reactions thank you join me in my next lesson